Welcome back. In this video, we will go over the microanatomy of bone. This model right here represents a cross section in this actual femur from a human where we can see the two types of bone, the compact bone and the spongy bone. Starting with the first structure on the model, this right here is the periosteum. This is the periosteum, which is a dense fibrous connective tissue that surrounds and cover the external surface of the bone. These right here are the perforating fibers, which anchors the periosteum to the bone. The perforating fibers are also called Sharpie's fibers. This entire part of the model represents the compact bone. The compact bone consists of osteons, also called the Havergian system. Right here, this is one osteon, that is an osteon, this is an osteon, this entire thing is an osteon. This part of the model represents the spongy bone. So this is the compact bone, and this right here is the spongy bone. The spongy bone consists of trabeculae. So right here, we can see the trabeculae, which are lined by this grayish membrane. This is the endoosteum. The endoosteum lines all the trabeculae. We can also see blood vessels running through the trabeculae. Starting with the first structure in the compact bone, right here we have the outer circumferential lamellae. This is the periosteum. The periosteum guides us toward the outer part of the bone. So these are the outer circumferential lamellae. This right here is the inner part of the bone. These are the inner circumferential lamellae. In between the osteons, we have the intermediate lamellae. So right here, we can see the intermediate lamellae and right here as well. Moving to the osteons, each osteon also consists of these rings. These are the lamellae. In the center, of each osteon, we have the central canal, also called the Havergian canal. Perpendicular to the central canal, we have the perforating canal, also called the Volkmann's canal. Running through the central canal and the perforating canals, we can see blood vessels. These blood vessels, they carry the nutrients for these cells right here in brown. These are the osteocytes, the bone cells. Right here, we can see the osteocytes. They are located in these small spaces. These are the lacunae that houses the osteocytes. These small canals right here, these are the canaliculi which receives the cytoplasmic extensions of the osteocytes. So this right here, this is the osteon. These are the lamellae. These are the lacunae. And these are the canaliculi. In the center, we have the central canal, also called the Havergian canal. Let's repeat the structures one more time on this model. This right here is the periosteum. These are the perforating fibers, also called Sharpie's fibers. These are the outer circumferential lamellae. This right here is the inner circumferential lamellae. Right here we have the intermediate lamellae. This is an osteon. That's an osteon. The small spaces are the lacunae. These are the canaliculi. In the center, we have the central canal. The central canal with a blood vessel in it. Perpendicular to it, we have the perforating canal, also called Volkmann's canal. We have blood vessels running through them. This part of the model represents the compact bone. This represents the spongy bone. 
These are the trabeculae, which makes the spongy bone. The trabeculae, they are lined by the endoosteum. So this is the endoosteum, and this is the periosteum. The spongy bone is filled with the red bone marrow. The red bone marrow is the blood cells forming marrow. Don't confuse the red bone marrow with the yellow bone marrow, which is found in the medullary cavity. I hope you found the video helpful. Hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing content.